Hey, this is Tanisha and this is abstract number, abstract challenge number 23 of 100. And so I'm still doing an abstract challenge, but I have been asked by a company to make abstract art for their business. So it's for when they do events, they would like some abstract art to go with their, the theme of their event. And so be sure to stay to the end of the video so you can see how it looked with a fake company's name. I'm not going to put the actual company, but with a fake company's name on the abstract just so you can see how it turned out. I thought it turned out really good. So the theme of this abstract is Woodstock. So with Woodstock, there's a lot of different colors. So that's what I used. Lots of different colors and it was really fun and it was bright and it was I think just overall fun a fun abstract piece to work on I hope you really enjoy it it was nice utilizing this during my challenges because I I didn't I love when I don't have to think too much because as soon as I start thinking too much with the painting it gets too precious and it's just too hard to do anything with it so I had a lot of fun painting this I hope you enjoy it and Hope you enjoy how it looks in the end. So there are a lot of different colors here, a lot. And uh, <laughs> I did try to do some color mixing to ensure they all work together, but these are some pretty bright colors. Another, some issues that I ran into that you might run into when you're especially rushing like this and don't have time to blow dry, which I did try to blow dry a lot here. I took a lot of that out of the video, but it's just when you don't let things dry and they start to mix and then they start to look weird. So I tried to get a try to avoid it, but for the most part, I think it worked out. And I have to be honest, once the tape comes off and I put it in the, um, Photoshop and did some editing, it really looks, it looked really good and they, and they loved it. So I was really happy that they loved this piece once it was done. It's not something I would typically do very but it turned out great and it was just great experimenting and playing around and I got to use a lot of Posca pens and do a lot of mark making which I love and the colors are pretty bright so that was nice and it was good that the colors were bright because when I had to put the company's name over this piece I had to dim down the colors of the art because they were bright but it was good that it was bright because when I dimmed down the colors it it still looked great so that's something to think about if you're ever doing commissions like this or doing some type of art that you have to put words over it's good to 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 consider the fact that you might want to make your painting bright in case you have to dim it down but you still want it to look good and as I continue on actually with the next couple weeks I'll be showing you more of the um, different themes that they gave me and in some cases, I've had to make certain parts of the art a little more calm down so that when I put the words on there, it, there's space for it. So yeah, I really enjoyed this. So I'm having a lot of fun doing mark making.
So as you can see, I'm doing a lot of the detail work with these micron pins, but I've been having a lot of problems ruining these no matter what I do. And I think because I probably need to go ahead and put a, like a medium over this, like a gloss or a matte medium in order to prevent from ruining the pen. So I think that's what I'm going to start doing in the future. And plus it'll just be a much easier piece to write over. Um, and honestly, with paper, it's been better with a micron, but especially on hardwood, when I write with these micron pens, I instantly ruin them. Their nibs are just so sensitive. So I really have to um, be careful with that. I love these micron pens because they're they're really they have a real thin line, which is hard to get. So yeah, if you like mark making like me, then definitely. Uh, Try to do your best to take care of the the nibs of your pen or you'll be spending lots of money <laughs> buying them again like me.
right so we are getting toward, towards the end of this and it looks it looks crazy <laughs> but if you think Woodstock and you look up Woodstock you might find that there are a lot of colors like this so um, it, it's just the way it was I guess I wasn't familiar with Woodstock till the event was brought up to me by the company but in the end I liked it so definitely stay tuned to the end and you'll get to see what it looks like with a fake company's name I really hope you enjoy this week's video I look forward to sharing all the themes that I worked on for this company in the next couple of videos if you have any questions let me know if you really love the videos here please subscribe and like the video as well as click that bell anyways look forward to talking to you next week have a good one